Which method do you think is the best for preserving the constituents, you know, to make them more active? Like, just say one oil has less constituents than the other. What method, you know, what method of distilling do you think is the best? I think steam distillation is the best for most plants, but you must use a cold press extraction for citrus products that have a peeling. So cold press extraction is the right approach for a for a lemon, an orange, a grapefruit, a lime. But the rest of the plants, almost all of them. Yeah, what, what, what about triple? Dist- what about like double, triple, quadruple distilling? I mean, what do you think about that? There's no such thing. If somebody says there's uh, quadruple distilling, they're an idiot and don't know what they're talking about. Because, number one, if you sit and talk to a distiller like I've been out there, those guys say, look, we're smarter than that. We're not going to start an expensive distiller, put a plant in it, turn the machine off, and start it again hoping to get more oil. We're smarter than that, guys. Give us credit. We only distill all plants one time. Well, I hear, I hear some of them are like, triple to steel to get, you know, more out. I don't know. I mean, that's what I hear. No, that's a, that's a false myth. That is wrong. That You could call a hundred stills and not one of them do triple to steel. So what if they don't get all the oil out the first time? What do they do with the other stuff? The plant. They uh, shred it up and use it as compost. So what, so there's, what would happen if someone want to get more oil out of there? What if they could get more oil out of there? Yeah, I mean, what if there's still oil left in there? Because it was because it was low pressure and done with low heat, so done maybe five pounds of pressure, you know, real low heat. And then what if there was more oil in there? Were they going to waste it? No. What's What's going to happen is if they're getting the low pressure for the sake of getting the medicinal action out of the plant, let's say it has an antimicrobial or analgesic in the plant, if they continue to to heat it up, it's just like I said about the housewife that lets the green beans sit on the stove for half an hour. It ruins the medicinal quality. But just say they're that. selling it for fragrance oil. They don't do anything with that. Or they don't do anything with it, no? Yes, then they don't care. They will go ahead and continue to distill it to get all the oil they can because they don't care about medicine. They care about smell. Yeah, so, so there are people that are triple or more distilling it more than once, you know, there, I mean, I hear people doing that, So, but you're saying they don't. No, if you call, well, call, I would challenge you to call distilleries that do it. Now, there's people who say that they do it, but I'm here to tell you I've been in this business now every day for six years, and uh, I have not talked to one distillery that says that's true. They say, look, guys, our, our, we spend too much money on fuel heating up a machine to turn it off and start it again. We just don't do that. All right. If we're going to leave it in, we leave it in and get all the oil we can out of it. All right. And all right. This, is, this is based on the mission of the customer. The customer comes in and says, I want to, I want this oil for the sake of uh, plant-based medicine. The other customer comes in and says, I need this lavender for the sake of aromatherapy. The next customer comes in and says, I need this for topical application. And then you've got customers that come to a lab and say, I want imitation lavender smell, very cheap. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right, I appreciate it.